Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today for a few reasons. But uh, tide is incredibly high, and I went over to my the boat rod cherry. It's kind of fun just to see everything covered in water. Uh, but there is a war on cash, guys. And uh, you can do something about this. And before I get into it, please take a second. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you get uh, the bell notification hit so you get notified of everything that's happening. Plus today we have a sponsor, and that is Gold Mining uh, Inc. And their ticker symbol is GLDG, and I'll talk about them a little later, and their timing couldn't be better. Let's get into it, guys. The war on cash. You are seeing so many things happen with banking right now globally not just in regions, not just in the South, not just here in California, all over the place. And it's affecting business and commerce around the world. Now let's start with the retailers. I had a lot of people send me different notifications about how retail establishments are getting rid of the cash system at all, completely, no more cash. And the latest one was uh, Dollar General. Dollar General in Woodruff, South Carolina got rid of Cash payments, no more cash payments. So uh, everything is self-serve, no employees, so that's going to end that. The next thing, check this out, guys. See, we can tie up to the dock temporarily. This woman's lending her boat out. These people came up and going to borrow a boat for the day. But just really cool that you can use these areas. This right here, you park the boat there three days. So... Dollar General getting rid of the uh, employees. They have people to stock the shelves and assist you with this. Now, the other company that does this is a company called Five Below. Now, Five Below, whether you like Five Below or not, everything is $5 or less. It used to be a really good value. It used to be a great company, but uh, you'd get really good merchandise for five bucks. Now, it seems like everything else, that the, they want to raise the prices and the quality is not the same. So that's here or there. That's up to you if you decide that or not. This last week in New York, it was announced that 10 central banks are participating in a digital dollar system uh, around the United States. Hmm, isn't that interesting that they would do this? So the idea with this is to test different payment systems and test different uh, retail ways of paying for this. Now, Here's the thing about banking. Here is the lie about banking. And that is they don't practice what they don't do, what they're not going to do. So flash forward to India. Now, India just announced two days ago, hey, listen, uh, the rupee, the, their, their currency there, we want you to understand that we're going to have a practice for the digital dollar, digital rupee here, and it's going to be one for one. It's going to be the exact same way of using a rupee uh, as if it was the bank. So for every one rupee that you have digitally, it's the same as the rupees in your pocket. Well, no, guys, it's not. It is absolutely not. And now they've decided that it's such a good test between the banks that now they're going to test it with retail. So people are going to be able to use the digital rupee for retail purchases. Okay, this is bad news for the people in India because they're going to track everything that you purchase. Everything. Not some things, not a few things, everything. Why are you buying that? Why are you buying so much of this? Okay, that's where this is headed. The digital dollar takes away freedom. And the one thing that's happening right now is that people in banking know one thing and that the dollar is has a huge problem right now. And China is buying more and more gold than they ever have ever and when you look at you know the people's bank of china the, the what they say in the story below which is great is the biggest secret that's not unkept is that china's buying more gold they're buying everything they can they're taking all their dollars u.s dollars and converting them to gold why is that because they're convinced that gold is going to be a stable and great investment in the future and that it has a high likelihood that it's going to go up in value over anything else. So you have to look at that. You have to look at why these banks are buying all this gold, why they're stockpiling the gold. Look at that. 
I'll get into that a little bit more. But share your thoughts on this so far and what you think about this because everywhere we're going, you're seeing the dollar use less and less and less. L from the UK couldn't buy a pizza with paper money. Remember that. No, it's not an option anymore. So again, how do you tip a driver? Huh? Oh, hey, sorry, I paid for the pizza already. I don't have to tip you. Let's talk about our sponsor, Gold Mining Incorporated. Their ticker symbol on the New York Stock Exchange is GLDG. And uh, I love this company for a bunch of reasons, but I'm going to give you guys kind of a history lesson when it comes to gold and give you an idea of why this could be just an explosive uh, stock for you guys in your portfolio. Please do your own due diligence. I'm not giving you financial advice, but this stock trades right now for under a dollar and 30 cents a share right now. They have over 30 million ounces, the equivalent of that in the ground. And when Amir Anani started this company, he basically bought this for 10 cents in the dollar. Absolutely amazing. The value of gold in the ground with other companies, other mining companies is basically 40 to $50 an ounce. And right now you're looking at just under $3 an ounce for gold mining. It's completely undervalued. Now the history lesson. When central banks and the Fed has done tightening in the past, normally they raise rates, people don't really pay attention to it, they kind of shy away from gold. Well, now it's the complete opposite. You're seeing this raising of the rates, and now there's talk the first week of December that we're going to get a only a half a point bump, and then they're going to uh, pull the reins in. Look at all the central banks that have bought gold right now. This is the time to buy the stock. You want to have something that could be explosive? This is it. You're going to see all the rich people make a move towards gold right now. This company's got major players in it. Doug Case, Rick Rule, which are basically legends in mining right now, guys. These people have been around forever. They don't get involved with anything that is not a winner. When you look at the investors, people like BlackRock, people like Sprott, Oppenheimer, I mean, these companies that are involved in this have all put their money in it because they believe in a mirror and they believe in where this thing is headed, which is to the moon, okay? So I really think this is one of these things that you should get in now before it's too late. Gold is expensive, guys, even at the current price right now. But one thing that's not expensive is gold mining stock. You guys can get this, again, under $1.30 a share in the New York Stock Exchange. Any brokerage firm you can buy it from right now, which is amazing. But when you look at the analyst recommendations, think about this. Wainwright has covered this company for years. They issued a report. They feel that the stock could be worth $6.25% under the current market conditions. Hello, guys, stock's trading at $1.30. When was the last time you heard that? Normally you hear pennies. Normally you hear it, maybe go, it could go up a dollar. How about five times the value? So do yourself a favor. Do yourself uh, for your investment portfolio. Uh, portfolio but look at this, look at what's happening around the world. This couldn't be, the timing of this sponsorship and this video couldn't have been better because there is a war on cash right now. People are moving to gold right now. When you look at what China's doing and the, the uh, uh, People's Bank of China, how they are buying so much gold, what does that mean? What does it mean for a company like that that's got so much gold? And right now, uh, Gold mining is looking at acquisitions. They're working on the Whistler project right now, which is going to be absolutely a substantial win. And they are in the uh, they are in the acquisition space right now, looking for other miners to grow. They've got plenty of cash right now. They've got leadership that's going to push this company to a completely different level. So get in while you can now. And again, history. You're going to see the Fed do a half a point bump. We all know that. And then you're going to see, at that point, you're going to see that gold is going to take off. When you look at all the analysts from Goldman Sachs, from Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan even, that have talked about how gold is going to be a great investment. Now is the time to look at this. Take a look at GLDG. But once again, the timing could not have been better for this video because this is what's happening, guys, around the world. You're going to see more and more people get into physical gold and gold mining. But take a look at a winner like this, like Gold Mining Inc. Again, do your own due diligence. I'm gonna leave the uh, analyst recommendations in the reports below. 
But now is the time to take a look at this stock ticker GLDG. It's an absolute bargain at under $1.30 a share. Take a look at it today. Now, don't take my word for it. Look around the globe. Ghana, the country of Ghana, which we really don't talk about much on this channel, but they're doing something that just got announced and the story is below that is utterly amazing. Come January 1st, 2023, all the mining companies and everybody that is involved with the production of metals has got to sell to the Bank of Ghana 20% of their gold products. Huh. The reason for that is because they're concerned about an energy crisis and they need to be able to buy uh, oil. And they're concerned that their currency is going to be worth nothing. The currency is going to be worth nothing. So they're going to use what? Gold for it. Okay. This is going to drive the price of gold up around the world. It's going to happen, guys. And it's going to drive the price of gold mining ink up too. So, you know, I talk about things like this. Hey, get in now before it's too late. This is one of those things right now. But uh, Matamuda uh, Bahawima, I learned that one. He is the vice president of the Bank of Ghana saying, hey, this is, this is the best thing to settle this problem with our energy crisis. And the only way to do that is with gold and using physical metals to purchase that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, guys, look at this as a whole. And you don't want a Sri Lanka uh, situation on your hands where energy, you know, hey, we're going to go green. We're going to use free love and wishful thinking to get the lights turned on doesn't work that way. Ghana, give them credit because they realize that there is a serious problem with their energy situation. So what are they going to do? They're going to lean on gold. Now, when you look at central banks from around the world right now that are buying gold, it is, you know, it's, it's astonishing how much is happening. Turkey has bought 80 million ounces of gold to prop up their uh, currency, their money. But again, Gold is money, guys. Gold is currency. It is. You have to look at an inexpensive way to get into this and take a look at gold mining, guys. Just the timing could not have been better. The video was planned for the war on cash today, but this, this is happening right before our eyes, guys. And the central bank here, our Fed, is going to lower interest rates and cause a squeeze. And that squeeze is going to get investors and banks to precious metals. You have to be in on this. So take a look at it today, guys. Take a look at this. Read the stories below because it's fascinating what's happening around the world right before our eyes. Do you guys think that the Fed has curbed inflation? I think they fixed it with their interest rate increases. I don't. I don't. Now, when you look through history and you look at 1933 when they came up with that wonderful idea to confiscate gold, it was done for one main reason. And it was done according to them. You guys can have your own argument about that. But it was done because the country was falling apart and they needed it to fix and stabilize the markets and the economy in the United States. Okay? Was it just a, a land grab, a money grab, a gold grab? possibly. When you look at what's happened right now and how inflation is just raring out of control, and if you bought anything in the last few days, it's not going down. Now you can talk about deflation and I'm not, here's the thing. Hey, you're going to see uh, barbecues go on sale. They're going to be 25 cents in the dollar because of inventory. That's not deflation guys. That's excess inventory. And you're going to have people that have electric bikes that are going to go on sale. These people that spent $3,000 and $5,000 on an electric bike, I'm telling you this right now. One thing you want to uh, experience with anything you purchase like this is can I get parts for it? I ran into a guy who does videos on electric bikes on YouTube and uh, he only does stuff that's been out for five years or more. Think about it. The craze just took off recently. So you have all this new product. He says these people are doomed because the companies are going to go bankrupt and they're going to be buying other bikes just for parts to be able to keep their bike running. Okay, that's here and over there. Inflation is out of control. Gold, early November, was $1,650 an ounce. Now it's $1,750 an ounce. And again, 1933, gold is currency. Today it's currency. But the analysts that look at this, and look at the stories below, they believe that gold is going to spike. 
gold is going to shoot up in value and uh, that we could be in this bull run for gold. Who knows? But one thing I do know is that all the rich people are buying gold right now. They're starting to get their analysts involved in it, and they are convinced that the American dollar is doomed. Fiat currency, as some of you call it, is doomed. Precious metals have been money since the dawn of man, guys, and you need to look at that. And when you look at these stories, and you look at history, and again, this is a great history lesson of how they did this. Basically, overnight, they agreed to seize all the gold, and Bertrand Snell, who was the uh, a Speaker of the House back then, basically said, hey, I, we haven't even read this yet. And you think it's crazy now? It was crazy in 1933. When you read the story, it will be appalling to you because they basically just took it all overnight. But the reason why they took it all was because it had value to it. Okay? They weren't screaming, hey, print more money. Do that. Okay? Share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I want to know what you're thinking about this. I found a great article in the War on Cash, and it was from 2015. And it was, the War on Cash, why now? And it laid out this plan of what we've seen over the last seven years since this article was written. I want you to think about this. If you look at my past videos on, on money and banking, man, this has just been set up. We have, been, we have seen nothing but problems with these banks right now. And... Uh, you know, they're limiting deposits that are cash or limiting cash withdrawals. They're trying to make it more and more difficult for you to bank at these institutions around the globe. It's not just happening here in the United States. This is worldwide. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you that have written me and told me how bad this is because it's just getting worse right now. So think about this. The idea to get rid of a printed currency and to make it so that everything is digitized. You know, you can sit there and say, hey, we pay for everything digitally right now. No, but you can have green cash if you want. If you want to carry around a $100 bill, you can carry around a $100 bill. They want to get rid of that. They want to get rid of it in such a big way, and they're doing it right now, right before our eyes, and they're making it so that it's worse and worse and worse. Think about this. Brokerage accounts like Charles Schwab, they won't allow you to, to make deposits using money orders, which money orders are cash. The lowest form of our, the lowest level of our uh, economy are people that don't have bank accounts right now and they can't get a brokerage account now because they can't make a deposit with a, um, with a, a money order. So it's just happening, guys. It's ex getting extended more and more and more right before our eyes. So, you know, the final thing is the Royal Bank of New Zealand this week. They issued a report that is staggering. And the report says that there is a huge problem when it comes to uh, inflation and uh, they want to control it. They just raised interest rates a full one percentage point on Wednesday of this week. Wow. Okay. It, it's, it's happening to all of us guys around the country. Now, the final, final thing is I found the 100 best cyber Monday deals, which as I start looking at this, you decide if you think these are great deals. I'm not interested in getting another subscription service and I do everything I can to have people not pay for subscription services through things like Peacock and, and Hulu and stuff like that. But take a look at the uh, story below. If you think this stuff is worth getting for Cyber Monday, there's the light tower for the lighthouse for the Lighthouse Cafe. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Take a look at GLDG. But again, guys, this war on cash is happening right in front of us, guys, to all of us right now. And it's only going to get worse. Onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon.